Hello everyone and welcome to another mini-series type dealio here. This is gonna be of, when it loads, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, specifically the Earth Temple. So it's gonna be a multi-part dealio. I'm assuming four parts, so I do 15 minutes a part or so. It's not that long of a temple if I remember correctly. And oh yeah, I had to calibrate. So you might remember way, 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 way back. I, I just wasn't feeling the game all that much. And even after beating the game, I put it down for a while, and then I, I picked it back up in like 2017 or something like that. <laughs> and yeah, it, was, it, it still wasn't feeling it. But now that Nintendo has announced the HD remaster of the game, I'm interested in trying to get back into this game again. The, the reason why it doesn't, like, it, it's, it's so weird to describe why it, it's so hard for me to get into this game. Like, the motion controls, so neat. Like, look at, look at this tracking. So neat. And I'll probably end up reversing the camera so it, you know, it looks more one-to-one. -one. I'm also trying to stay in frame because I can reach all the way out and yeah, like, so yeah, <laughs> it's gonna it's kinda be a little bit of practice to stay within the frame's boundaries. But anyway, uh, what, what makes this game so difficult for me to really stay hooked into is the motion controls are a little bit off. Like, it's not totally accurate when you're swinging at a quicker rate. And it also tends to mess up if the animation doesn't finish before you finish, I mean, before you start with your next attack and stuff like that. So that just kind of gets in the way uh, on occasion like that. And when it gets in the way of critical moments, it kind of, kind of, you know, it's a mood killer. <laughs> and then there's the stamina gauge, which also kind of gets in the way of things. and. Uh, yeah, like you should be, at least I think you should be able to do a lot more dashing than you do, but... Well, 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 well. I'm doing low strikes to try and cut that stuff up, just kind of, kind of getting the feel of things again. And, uh, you know, rather than me complaining about things, maybe I should just move on here. And I, You'll see as I go uh, what's going on, and for some reason on the save file that I resumed from three years ago, I, I must have lost my shield, and I also do not have any bullets. <laughs> I should say seeds for my slingshot, so I don't know if I'll get any eventually, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, another, another thing about it is the the breakable thing. You remember like Breath of the Wild? That was like extreme version of this, but it's still kind of. Enough to, to ruin my mood with certain things. <laughs> so it's just the kind of a thing of that it's all these little things that kind of keep irking me, and it kind of adds up, so to speak. But you know, I don't want to complain about the game because it really is a good game. It's just I, I don't know. It's just hard for me to stick with it because of all those little things just kind of oh jeez. I mean, just all the little things just kind of continually adding up over time. I mean, as I said, it is it is a good game. I, I really want to be into it more than I am, which is why I keep coming back to it. It's, it's namely because of this, you know, the motion control dealio here. It, it, it's so cool to be able to control various things like this, you know, and just motion whipping and stuff like that, but anyway. My partner's gone missing and those red guys are everywhere. I never should have come here. Oh, it's you again. Come all this way and search your friend, eh? That reminds me. Before I came in here, I saw a weird looking blonde girl get dragged away. Could it be? Princess Peach! Oh! Yeah, we're playing Zelda, <laughs> but th th don't even dream about going to the rescue. Those baddies are everywhere. If you want to live to live again one day, you should head for home, pal. Well, uh, you know, I, 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 th th that's, it's kind of not my job here. I, I'm, I'm a destined hero type duder, so you know, I kind of, kind of have to save the day and 
and all sorts of things like that. And that's gonna yeah, it's gonna drop down eventually, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna. Can I just go straight to that? No, I can't. <laughs> You know, sometimes Link grabs on, but that, that was my own fault for assuming. I should have just waited for it to pop back up. Alright. Alright. There we go. So I want to wanna take on that Tylian form Zubat over there. If I can, thank you. <laughs> just doing little upward strokes. So, a thing that I noticed, when I'm trying to get these controls mastered, that's part of the reason why I am replaying this and stuff like that, because I, I, I feel like I never mastered the motion controls. Like, you know how motion controls tend to have quirks in general, and then you just kind of get the hang of them over time, and then it's like second nature? Well, I, I feel like I never did so here, because I, I've seen people get get these pretty down pat. Again, there it, it does hiccup at times regardless, but, you know, down pat enough that you can do things very consistently, and that, that's part of the reason why I just keep coming back to this, because I want I want to be able to master this, because it's so cool. <laughs> Alright, we got ourselves up. Oh, this is a false. Master, detecting new enemies ahead. They appear to be creatures of very significant physical ability. I, I wouldn't say that. Press the to target an enemy, then down the column. I will ensure any data I have on that enemy. That's how I imagine she talks because of that pulsing up and down volume of. <laughs> ah, you there? I attacked way too soon. Take that! And that! And that! Low. Low. I thought I was doing low there. There we are. <laughs> see, I'm, see, that's one of those things where I want to look back at the footage because I wonder, was was I not swinging low, you know, look, you know, down to the ground like this to get under the arm, or did the motion just mess up? That that that's also part of why I'm doing the whole face cam thing here. Well, I should say whole body cam here is because I want to do my own studies of my own technique, like I do in uh, dance game videos and stuff like that. And can you tell this is me resuming my save file? Because this pops up for every item that you grab for the first time when you resume a save file. <laughs> That's another sort of quirk in this game is all, all, those, all those things there, it, it will remind you every time you collect it upon rebooting your save file. Hey, look at that, I got these. I got some seats for my slingshot. Yeah, when I, when I played this game the last time, like 2017, I mean. I don't know what happened, but I didn't have slingshot seeds. I, I don't have a shield. This is like, what what the poop has happened? Anyway, I'm gonna. <laughs> Maybe I got so annoyed and so tilted that I, I just wasn't thinking straight and I was just screwing around with stuff, and I don't know where I lost all my stuff. I don't even remember, but all I gotta do for now is focus on solving these puzzles, which aren't really that much of puzzles, and move myself on. <laughs> um, I wonder if I should just, well, I'll just jump on it, there we go. You control with the analog stick and not motion controls here, which kind of is an oddity compared to, by the way, it's fun to squish these guys up the ball like that. Can I just like, no, I can't. I was gonna say, I can't use my sword very easily here, but can I just get off and, you know, so I can stop being on fire? Thank you. <laughs> uh, oh, hello. Uh, blast. Well, you must have dropped it earlier. Hey, nice timing, pal. It's me, Led. You're showing up here and you must mean we are connected somehow. You know, like fate or something. Anyways, uh, do me a favor and get my bomb bag, okay? Uh... I was behind that... How do I get your bomb bag without the bombs there? I was behind that rock looking for treasure and those creeps showed up. I panicked and hit the road, but looks like I dropped it. It's a bag for carrying around bomb flowers. I can't imagine not having one. Oh hey, I guess I don't have to imagine, because I lost mine. Anyway, it's back there. Do me a favor and get my bomb bag back, will ya? Okay, let's just see what I can do here. Might be some way for me to... Hey there. Allow me to test my motion controls. It's like, uh, whenever I can, I can get a shot in, and then I, I, I just end up spamming it afterwards, because, you know, they completely drop their guard and the like. 
Um, so about the, the bomb dealio here, just grab one of these, move it low, arrow yourself like that, underhand it, and voila! Perfection! You're welcome. You know, um, your mole, could you just, you know, dig under the, that? Just saying. <laughs> nice work. Uh, roll it bomb flowers to you. That's the mark of a real professional adventure. Keep it up and go grab my bomb bag. Or are you just intimidated to go through there because there, there'd be dangers or something like that? Hmm. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. And yes, I know there's a ladder in that other area, but I don't remember if that leads to another area or if it's a uh, uh, treasure chest or something like that. But anyway, I'll, I'll I guess go back then and check that out when I come back through there because this is a dead end room. Look at this room. This this is so ocarina of time like, isn't it? With the hexagonal platforms over lava and, and like, yep, yep, yep. Eat my swords attacks. No, 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 shoot. <laughs> I want to take. I want to. I want to take on one at a one at a time if I can help it. Alright, man, I am sucking here. Alright, I should probably grab that heart, actually. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, well, I mean... No. I, I want to just lock on to you, if you don't mind. By the way, um, what I'm trying to aim for is whenever he... Um, I should have grabbed that before. <laughs> It's, it's a little, it's another one of those little, little irks that just keep adding up as you keep... <laughs> I suppose I could just never turn off the game, you know? You know? You know? Anyway. So I played that very poorly, but I got myself the bomb bag. Well, I should say I got his bomb bag back, so... Let's just go ahead and open this bad boy up and hand it over. Even though, you know, it just kind of does this huge presentation like, yeah, this is going to be your bomb bag. No. Nope. Not going to be your bomb bag. Alright, see if see if lead will lend it to you. I don't have uh, bombs for it or anything like that. But uh, I could potentially get some bombs for that. You know, it would be pretty nice. See if, we can, see if we can do something about that. Because you see, we didn't have a bomb bag before coming in here and... Uh, now we can pick bomb flowers and put them in the bag. Hey, you found my bomb bag! Sorry to put you through that. Guess I owe you one now. So, uh, let me have it. What's this now? You want to borrow it so you can go deeper in the volcano? Alright, you're looking for your friend. You sure have put yourself out there getting this far. It's not that far! Uh, that reminds me, how's my pal? Uh... Well, I... Was your pal at the other area? Because he seemed fine, he just didn't want to go in. So it's not no idea. I I don't want to say I'm worried, because then I mean, he seemed fine over there, and he's not gone if that was the one. What if I say just say worried? <laughs> he's worried about me? Oh, it's about what he thought. What kind of pal am I putting him through that? You must be worried too, not knowing. I must have misread it or something. Not knowing if your friend's dead or alive. Not letting you borrow my bag, though. Nope, I'm giving it to you. <gasps> Just don't pull yourself up. All right. All righty. I shall. Now you've got my bomb bag. Go find your friend. So how about filling up that bag? Well, I'll talk to you again. So how about filling up that bag? Let me ask you something. You ever been sound of fun? Yes, I have. <laughs> Do yourself a favor and put the fire out quick. Oh, and if you ever, never ever pull out a bomb, you're covered in flames. Trust me on that. <laughs> it'll, it'll kind of, kind of explode on you. Hold up. I forgot to tell you something. Knowing me, that bag's probably empty. So let me give you a little something to get you started. I was gonna show how to do the thing, but well, I guess it's something to fill it up completely. Alright. <laughs> if you run out of bombs, just find some more and fill the bag back up. If you've got a bomb flower, press B to put it in the bag. Don't forget, that bag you call up to 10 bombs, so if you run across bomb flowers, be sure to fill up the bag. Okay, like this. So you see, grab it, press the B button to start, <laughs> you just put it out, it just <laughs> fills the bag right up, look at that, just like natural scavenging through nature to pick up Anything that we can find along the way. Oh, that's oh, that's right. That's uh, the, yeah. That, that ten is the max. 
<laughs> I can't put it in after that. Alright, so I'm just swinging my sword nice and slowly so I don't make the motion go all crazy and I could use some hearts. I could douse for them, but I'm sure I'll come across some hearts along the way. Um, those aren't hearts, but they are shiny. Um, I'll just hop off, I guess. Cause I, didn't, I didn't think there was any anything I need to use this on that high up. I mean, you could basically do this from anywhere, anywhere as you please. So anyway, uh, store that, please. There we go, and let's move on. <laughs> Should probably get the camera set up nicely there. You know, I'm gonna give you a little squisher. Oh, that's right. I'm too far forward. Yep, <laughs> take that. <laughs> oh, see, I was I wasn't doing slow enough motions right there. That was bad technique on my own part. That, that, I think that's part of why I, I felt like it messed up more than it did uh, back when I first played it. Uh, was because I, I would do these little flicky, flicky motions and stuff like that, so yeah. Right, I think I'm gonna drop off here, and there's a save point. I wonder if I should stop here and clear out the rest of the room later. I think that's what I'll do. So with that, I'm gonna end off the video here. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video when I continue the Earth Temple of Doom! Well, it hasn't been that much Doom, it's just me flubbing, basically, more than anything. Arr.